I'm Riley Teeter and I'm excited to be here for our second live Facebook event. This time, instead of the Teeter Inversion Table, we're going to be talking about our new product. This is called the Teeter Free Step. So I'm going to give you just some general background while we wait for some people to get um, online and join us. Um, so stay tuned. Um, we're also at the very end going to share with you a special way to get a big discount off of this product. So stay tuned for that. Um, so this product was really started because we know about joint pain and we know how joint pain impacts people's lives. It really starts a cycle of stopping being able to do activity and that leads to decreased health and less activity and it's just a downward spiral. And um, you know what I found really interesting in researching the power of exercise and how important it is to our lives is how it trickles into everything. I mean, I think we think about cardio and we immediately gravitate towards weight loss. And that is a nice feature, of course. People are always worried about the calorie burn. Um, and this, it very excitingly, was researched and reviewed to have 17.5% more calorie burn in the same time investment of a workout of a recumbent um, bike. Uh, so it does have the calorie burn, but I think more importantly when you age and, and I'm in my 40s I know that my focus of health has shifted from all about aesthetics to feeling better And that's what I found with the research is that exercise is so much more than weight loss. It's about um, Preventing cancer. I mean these are actually facts that came out of a over 700 page um, analysis done by our government um, that was released just this year building on research that's been done over many years talking about how regular exercise decreases your chances of getting cancer, of heart disease, um, type 2 diabetes. It just improves your general quality of life um, through better sleep, uh, reduced anxiety, reduced depression. I mean, these things are huge to me um, just to see how a few minutes a day. In fact, they only said if you're doing high intensity, you have to do 15 minutes five times a week or a moderate intensity, 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, that seems really doable for all these amazing benefits, right? Um, but again, not all of us can be active in the way that we want to be because we have joint pain. So I'm going to get into the free step and explain to you how this is a game changer. So you're going, okay, I see a lot of other recumbent options. Uh, you've seen recumbent bikes, um, recumbent ellipticals even, that look quite similar. They have the arm motion, they have the leg motion. What makes our particular product different? That's a great question. So I'm gonna show you real quick what's happening here. We actually, going out into the market, realize that all these other recumbent options use a cyclical motion, right? And if you wanna have this linear path motion, it's a patented feature. And in fact, it's only on the equipment that physiotherapists and that type of uh, medical professional field is utilizing, and that equipment's really expensive. Um, so we went to that big equipment manufacturer and we licensed this technology. That's what makes this unique. We are the only home use based product, and that means a lower cost for you, that uses this technology. And you can see I am literally just stepping down. This is a natural fluid motion. The knees are not going over the toes. So, you know, when you do a cycle, right, you are pushing up with your upper part of your leg while pushing backward and down with the lower part of your leg. And this creates two different motions that essentially create a knee shear. You also have in a lot of um, cardio options, like a bike, um, a swish motion, side to side, you're swishing your legs, you know, and that destabilizes the back and the hips and causes problems in those joints. So we're completely stable in our upper body while not having the knees travel over the toes and keeping this very fluid stepping motion. Now, of course, we also have our hand grips, and this is really sort of the magic sauce for two other key elements. One is reducing muscle fatigue, right? When you're working out, if you're on one of those um, steppers, right? There's a very popular one out, talks about major calorie burn. We'll get on that for two minutes, and it's an unpleasant experience, right? One particular muscle is completely screaming out at you, and your body just quits, right? It's, it's uncomfortable, it's difficult. So by engaging more of our muscles in the motion, we are able to diffuse that, um, that muscle exertion, and that makes it feel easier, right? We all want our workouts to feel easier. 
Um, and the other thing is, by engaging more muscles, we're also able to increase the calorie burn. And that was actually proven in a study that was done in Colorado. And what they found, and they didn't use our systems and the other systems, actual mechanics here. They hooked people up to VO2, very sophisticated equipment, and they looked at their oxygen usage and determined it equally across all products and determined that the free step was burning 17.4% more calories for the same length of time workout. So that's pretty significant, right? So it feels easier and you're burning more calories. Great things. The other thing that we're doing is we're incorporating muscle strength. You can hear, whew, actually probably should stop real fast. <laughs> and we're incorporating muscle strength. So with the handles in this position, I am doing chest and I'm doing back. So this arm is pulling, I'm doing chest and bicep, and then this arm is pushing, we're doing back. No, is it the other way around? Let's see, yes, this is chest, this is back, other way around, I knew I had it wrong. But either way, just through the motion of both arms, you're doing chest and back. You turn up the resistance, you're gonna get more of a muscle burn. Now the other thing you can do, now I wanna show you something real quick on these handles, is they have a de-rattler so that there's no slop, they feel really good. So when you wanna adjust it, you have to unscrew it, then pull up and turn it. So it's actually a really nice feature, so you always feel um, fluid in your movements. You don't have this little like janky feeling of, you know, whenever there's a, an adjustment with a pin in a hole, there's a little bit of slop and that can just make things feel a little, little loose. Um, this de-rattler log makes everything feel nice and tight and smooth. So when my hand's on top of the handles here, I'm pushing down and I'm working my triceps. So those bat wings on the back of your arms, um, we're working those, we're toning and tightening those. If you turn your hands this way, and you can see this little piece here twists, and that makes it more comfortable, and you just do curls, right? If you really want to intensify it, you can bring your feet up and do it. I mean, I typically leave my, this one needs to be tightened down. I typically leave my um, feet in place and just not engage them in the same way if I want to increase the intensity of an arm exercise. Or of course, you can just turn up the resistance on the side here. So those are some really cool features about what we're doing with the upper body. Obviously, when we're stepping, we're engaging our large muscle groups. So your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quadriceps are all being engaged. These are big muscles, and that helps you get the calorie burn while you're working out. But because we're building up the muscle strength in every single one of these muscle components, you are able to increase your afterburn. So anytime you build muscle, the Muscles themselves require more calories. And I'm not gonna know the exact statistics, but it's something like a pound of fat burns four calories an hour or something like that. And, and muscle does significantly more, I believe it's around 50. So if you wanna get a better metabolism, you need more muscles. So having your cardio and your strength training in one is really a pretty valuable feature. So we've gone over the additional calorie burn this has 17.5% more calories in the same workout, that you're doing muscle and cardio training, that um, you have this fluid stride that's more ergonomic for your back, um, that is easy on the knees. Let's go over some of the features, how you can customize this. So when you get this home, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need a break. This is a hard workout. Um, it's hard to work out and talk too. <laughs> Um, so the things that you get to adjust and how you're going to want to set this up for yourself. So you can see I don't want my knees over my toes. So where you put your seat is critical. A lot of times what you do is you just bring it up. You can stand here and you can see I'm just pulling. Do you see that? You just pull up. And so it's really easy to, to increase the height. When you want to bring it down, just pull the pin, slide it to the spot. So you really want to get it. Mine's I'm five foot six and you can see I can only see two of the holes so it's pretty low down um, because it's all about your leg length and not going over the toes here. So you're gonna set it up approximately, um, you know, um, to your top of your thigh height when you're standing here. Mine's a little bit lower. You might be able to go up one, but you can just, because it does just pull up. I put it down at the bottom and just pull up till you get to a center. 
approximately the top of your thighs. Um, with your handles, you want to adjust the handles so that when they're moving, you're not being pulled forward like this. So there's a bunch of different hole settings, shorter to longer, and then there's, there's four of them. There's three, and then there's the last one. Um, after you don't see the three, you'll see a little stop symbol. Um, and then again, just unscrew, because the de-rattler de knob takes all the slop out, pull the pin up, and then let it slip into a hole, right? And then re-screw it down so that it has that nice firm feeling as you're using it. Uh, those adjust whether you're on the table or off the table, or free stuff, what's ever most comfortable for you. Here we have the backrest. Now, can you see that? Okay. Just push that and then slide it to wherever you feel most comfortable. And when it's reclined more, you can get more into the glutes while you're exercising. I just like mine at a nice, comfortable sit-up position. Here on the side is your resistance. Just turn it. Just turn it until you find a good spot. Move that handle up so I can see. That handle's kind of black. There you go. There you go. So you just twist this, right? Goes one to eight different settings. Um, find the spot that feels most comfortable for you. I honestly, during my workout, I adjust it throughout the entire process to make sure that um, that I'm getting some change up. Um, seat. Oh, and w when you adjust the seat, just give it a little jiggle. Make sure it's in the correct position, resistance. And then, of course, I think one of the most important things is the the silence, right? I just want to get this the same as the other one. Got to do that one. Um, you, can, you can tell while well, I've been working out this entire time, there's no sound. So if you're somebody that wants to watch TV, I, and that's what I do. I, my, I, my kids are young. I have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old, and they go to bed at approximately 8 o'clock. What am I going to do after that, right? I, I typically have got to chill out and watch some TV just to get back to normal. And uh, I'm now able to do that while I'm on the free step. I will literally turn on my favorite show, sit here in complete silence, and get in my workout, and it is over before you even <laughs> you know it. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons why we made this console lower here, is we knew so many people on this particular product would want to watch their television. So this is low and out of your way. The console also, um, just turn it on, it's battery operated, which is actually a really um, great way to have a product is because you're not tethered to the wall. Anytime you get a cord, you're tethered to the wall. Um, you've got to be in a specific spot with an outlet or you have a cord going across your living room. So this makes it a free and clear product. Um, and it does calories, it does distance, it does time, all the really relevant things that you need. It also has a little holder, let me grab my phone. So if you want to have your phone going or whatever, you just slip it right in there and it'll hold it in place. We'll do a tablet, whatever you need, right? Um, there's, of course, the water bottle holder here. Um, just gives you immediate access to your water, which you should be needing if you're working out hard enough. Um, I think that just about covers it. Team, do you have anything? Uh, did you talk about what gets trapped on the digital console? It did. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's got wheels on the back. So oh, can you show how to move it for storage? Yeah, absolutely. So this product does have wheels on the back. Um, and that's another thing that we did build in is it has stabilizers as well. So it's not gonna ever have that rocky feeling. You just screw down a little uh, stabilizer foot and that'll make sure that no matter where you put it, you have a stable um, product to work on. This allows you to move it, but grab it under here and then you can just roll it as you need to in and out of place, put it down. It's actually not that light, but <laughs> it can be moved. Of course, when you're making a sturdy product, um, it does require steel, so I think this is about 110 pounds. Is that right? Okay. Um, and the footprint, what's the footprint, guys? 38 by 52? Fif yeah, 52 by 38, yeah. Yeah, so it's not um, an overly oppressive size product. It can fit into most spaces. I'd say it's about the size of an armchair, so if you're in your living room and you have an armchair that you're typically sitting in to watch television, it's very easy to switch that out for the same space. And of course, you can get your workout while you're watching your shows better than an armchair. Um, let's see. Batteries so that you don't have to plug in. Yeah. So the batteries, I did say you don't know, are not tethered. I went through all of that. 